Alright, so we're back and we actually did a little bit of research on how we're going to connect these and set this all up. Now we've gone ahead and done and uh, in our research we actually found some places online that actually we found the, uh, the, uh, the instruction manual on how to build, the assembly guide on how to build the uh, DF robot four-wheel drive uh, mobile platform uh, but we did not see anything about the wiring. However, by looking at the forums, we were able to see many people coming up with different solutions. So what we decided to do is that we're basically going to wire up all four motors. We're going to solder them all together. There's four. And we're going to do one at a time. And we basically did is, you know, there's an included wire. Uh, it's one really long strip. So we basically kind of guesstimated how long the wires needed to be for each motor. And what we're going to do is we're going to connect the same length motor, uh, the same length wire to each motor. And we left over an additional wire, which is a little bit longer, um, which will be used to connect our power switch, as well as the uh, AC adapter plug here. And that should suffice for now. Uh, we hope that we have enough wire left over. If not, we're going to have to uh, get some wire that we have laying around and just kind of wire it up. Again, wire is wire. The color coding is not important. It's really important for you so you know what goes where. Um, so if we don't have a particular color, um, you know, just keep that in mind. Uh, okay, so what we're going to start off by doing is we're going to start off by soldering these guys. Now I already started cutting one of these and getting it ready. I'm going to go ahead and continue to cut the rest. Now all you have to do is just kind of gently place a, a razor to the tip and you can kind of just open it up a little bit. It's just rubber or some kind of a plastic. Now give it about an inch or a little bit more because what you're going to have to do is you're actually going to have to uh, do some wire stripping. So you're actually going to go ahead and you're going to take off the shielding and you're going to expose the wire within the shielding and then what you're going to do is you're actually going to solder that onto the contacts here and here. Now a lot of the things online that we saw what they basically did was is that they uh, were wiring them directly to each other so maybe they would have one wire coming out of two wires out of here, two wires out of here but then the wires coming between we're not going to do that. We're actually just going to wire all four of uh, the motors directly. So we're going to each one's going to have one of these. And then when it comes time to connecting it to the Arduino, what we're actually going to do is worry about that wiring and that configuration at that point. We're we'll following a similar model that we followed for the uh, Lynx Motion platform. Whoops, see on that one I messed up. So let me just kind of doesn't matter if you mess up. Just trim it. recut it. Now the way I messed up there is that basically I cut in to the wrong side too deep and I exposed the wire. Um, you're going to expose the wire anyways but I didn't want to expose the wire all the way down the, uh, the, the uh, separation. I only want to expose it at the tips. Okay, so now we have these ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to actually strip the wires with your basic wire stripper. We don't need much stripping done. Okay, just a smidge. Okay, might need to do a little bit more but we should be okay with that. Cut into that one too deep. All right. We are almost done here. Now 
again, when you actually strip this, it doesn't have to be exactly the same. It can just be a more or less. And you're going to wind up working with that. So, I'm just going to kind of clean this up a little bit. Let that fall off to the side here. Okay, so I'm only going to do one at a time, so I'm going to move these out of the way. And uh, I've already got my soldering iron out. If you don't already have one, you're going to have to purchase one. You can purchase one from Radio Shack, Home Depot, or your local hobby store. Um, which one you buy is up to you, really. Uh, I'm just kind of figuring out how we're going to do this. Let's see here. All right, so we're getting ready to solder. What I actually did was here is I uh, stripped back the cable just a little bit more. I slipped it through the hole on the connectors here on the motor, and I just kind of folded it over to give me enough room to solder these on. This is such a small motor that makes it difficult to do this. Now, again, I'm not the uh, expert when it comes to soldering, but I do have the basic knowledge and I have a good understanding of it. So what we're going to go ahead and do we're going to apply solder to each one of these connectors and it's just enough to make it stay in place. Um, I definitely recommend getting a good soldering iron and having small, small as possible solder you can find. Um, especially when you do with robotics, you usually need to do um, you know, very intricate soldering. So what we're going to do is, for this video, is we're just going to do one and then we'll, we're going to kind of fast forward after we're done doing all of them. So just apply solder there to kind of get it to stick. As you can see, we didn't do that much there. And we're going to do the next one. One thing you got to be careful of here is that you're dealing with a plastic motor and plastic connectors here, so you don't want to uh, you don't want to melt anything around it much. So as you can see we just applied a little bit of solder to that. That's soldered on there nicely and that should hold pretty well. Be careful with those connectors because I've had experience with these motors before and they're pretty fragile. So you don't want to you know, push pull on them too hard because you will rip these right out. Um, so that's the example of how to do that. Um, in the next video we'll go ahead and show you us putting it all together hopefully and uh, not too much uh, solder needing to be done. Probably also uh, showing how we're going to connect the power cables and stuff like that. We'll be back soon.